Hey guys, Pastor Paul here, and I just wanted to take a quick moment to remind you of our reading plan. Uh, we are reading through the book of Mark. So if you have not grabbed uh, your Bible yet and jumped into the reading with us, we would love for you to do that. Each day we have an assigned portion of scripture, and we would love for you to get in the habit with us of reading the word. And not just reading because that's what Christians do, and that seems like the spiritual thing, and because that is what gets you into heaven. No, 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 no. The reason we read the Bible is so that we can actually get something out of it that changes and transforms our life for God's glory. So what I want to do is show you real quick just what I see in the reading plan today. Um, Today we're in the reading plan. We're actually not in the book of Mark. We take a break each week to read out of the Psalms. And so we're in Psalm 3. So do me a favor right now. You can pause this video and look at Psalm 3. Read Psalm 3. It's not very long. So go ahead and read that and then look at verse 3 of Psalm 3. So Psalm 3 verse 3, it says this, But you, Lord, are a shield around me. You, Lord, are a shield around me. So the writer of this psalm, he he sees God not just as a God that's far away off in the heavens shooting out commands and telling people what to do, but he sees God as his own shield, that even though he has a lot of enemies, even though he has a lot of stress, even though he has a lot of pressure in his life, God is like a shield to him. So when I'm reading this, I'm encouraged because I remember that because of what Jesus did for me at the cross, taking my sin, Uh, And the fact that he got out of the grave and sent his spirit into my heart, that now, my God, he's a shield. I have the Holy Spirit living inside of me, and he protects me. He protects me from from when when I make my own mistakes. He guides me through healing processes. Uh, When people attack me and say bad things about me, my God is a shield to me. So no matter what you're going through, I hope you're encouraged that if you believe in Jesus and what he did for you at the cross, you're not alone, but you have a God who is a shield to you. So do this with us. Take part in our reading plan. We would love for you to be reading through God's word with us and not just reading, but being transformed by it. Praying for you guys. Have a great day.